change. It's still looking a bit like nighttime out there. We do have the silhouette of the trees, kind of a moody picture for us. And the Blue Bridge is getting some more activity as the morning goes on. More headlights coming over the bridge. Hopefully they have their heat on. They can shut it off because by the time it gets to the afternoon, it's going to warm up just a little bit. Maybe they can even crack a window as long as it's not raining. We'll get to that in just a minute. But for now, let's take a look at these current conditions for us out there. Stepping out the door, 54 for us in Walla Walla, about 48 there in Pasco, Richland, 47. Sunnyside 45 for you. Yakima, you're at 47 waking up right now to get out the door and a look at that satellite radar for the past 12 hours. We did have a little bit of activity and by activity, I mean some clouds rolling in no precipitation and you can see right here over the Cascades. They're getting most of that active weather and that rain. It will spill down just a bit into the Columbia Basin later tonight and here's what it's coming from here. If you take a look from the Gulf of Alaska, you can see over the past six hours we've got that counterclockwise movement. Now that's a cold front moving in that's associated with those lower temperatures and a little bit of precipitation, which we certainly are getting the Cascades and we certainly might get here in Columbia Basin. Now that next weather maker again, we may have that rain come through, but nevertheless expect it to be very cloudy skies tonight and into tomorrow. Good news is we do have a little bit of those warmer temperatures, so with those clouds, it won't be too chilly out there. Now this is why this is happening. Take a look at this next weather maker. We had a ridge that moved through a little bit earlier this week and that bumped those temperatures up for us that we're experiencing today. But behind it is that trough and again that's associated with that active weather. Now these wind speeds are really fairly calm across the board. A few days ago they were kind of breezy out there, but for now and today we can look at those calm winds out there and with those cloudy skies, uh, those temperatures are going to take it down just by a few digits. But today, 71 is going to be about that high. May bump it up a little bit more there in Yakima, depending on uh, what we experience later into our afternoon. But look at that normal high of 73, and we're not going to be at that record of 85. For, for that low tonight, we're going to be about 43 degrees. Now, today tracking those temperatures in Tri-Cities, 74 is that expected high. We may take it a few digits higher than that today as well. 75 is that normal, so we're almost right on par there. And that low tonight is going to get to about 46 to cool off. Now, here in Seattle, you are going to get rain today. So if you're looking to travel out of town to Seattle, make sure you do not forget that umbrella or rain jacket. You're going to need it. Maybe even break out those rain boots. 62 degrees for us in Seattle, Portland. It's going to be rainy for you as well. 62 and a few clouds poking out, but sunny for us in Spokane. Uh, 70 degrees for you today. Now, if you're sticking around here, Yakima 75 again is that high today. 20% chance of rain and we're going to hit those 70s by the weekend. Now for Tri-Cities, 80 degrees expected. Make it to 70s by the end of the week.